Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I want to do is I did a, a video on this already once and what happened was apparently I have a problem and if you see any of my old videos I was called out on it, thankfully. And I took that as a blessing in disguise. So I've since the new videos that I've been doing have not said this word that I always seem to use repeatedly and that is okay, 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 okay. So. I have really stopped that. Now, sometimes I have to say it. I mean, like if I'm saying, like, you see these? All right, so, you know, okay. But anyway, I try not to say that anymore. And I did a whole video um, probably back in November. And I had a lot of electrical videos. And a lot of them I didn't let go because of the simple fact that it was like every third or fourth word was okay, okay. And I don't know why. Maybe that's a nervous tick. And I don't know why because... But anyway... So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys, uh, I'm not really going to show you how to strip Romex, but I do want to show you how to make a joint. A lot of people, homeowners, you know, and I'm not saying it's, it's you know, not saying anything bad against homeowners, but this right here is an issue. I don't know anymore if they do it, but on the back of the bags of B-caps, Buchanan wire nuts, they used to tell you that you could do it like this and... Put your wire nut on and keep turning and then you'll you actually will like uh twist this around too and that was supposed to would seal the deal now it is a good tight fit but this when it comes loose it causes a lot of issues there's a lot of heat in that box the wire i were really, i mean it wasn't too long so there wasn't a whole lot of heat but what could have happened was it could have melted the insulation on it you know, possibly. Anyway, and you wouldn't have a black and a white together. Not in a receptacle, you shouldn't anyway. This is just for demonstration purposes, so don't say, oh, so I should put the black and the white together? So, what you want to do, and let me show you, okay? I'm going to go ahead and start fresh. So, when you get to your box, you'll have, let's just say both these are black. So, pretend this is black. What you'll do is you'll strip your wires out. All right, these, now, these are dual strippers, just by Kleins. They're awesome. I love them. So, basically, I can hook two 12s together like I'm going to do right here and just strip them out. And you can do two 14s and, and a 10, one number 10. So what you'll do is you'll take your two wires like this, just like this. You take your clines, you hold the wires, and you'll twist, just like so. That is what you're looking for. Now, I'm going to show you another little trick with these clines. This makes the perfect joint every single time. The perfect length right here. All you have to do is you take the ends, so this client is, is, I don't know, a half inch wide, maybe I'm not sure exactly how wide it is. But what you'll do is you'll take and you'll put the insulation part of this wire, so right here, you'll slide it down so the bottom of this meets the bottom of the insulation. Make sure that your cutters, <laughs> this is the cutter part, is up on the top, because if not, you'll cut the whole wire off. So you'll slide it down, watch me close, and you'll get it right to the insulation part. And what you have left is that little piece of wire. You'll just cut it off. That is the perfect joint. Now, there's different wire nets you can use. This is a red B cap. This is a yellow. And there's orange, blues, grays. For this, you, you want to use a minimum of a yellow, okay? Now, if you're not sure what to use, if you look at the back of the bag on any wire nut bag, it should tell you that how many wires of what size, these are number 12, so if you have 14s, if you have 10s, so on and so forth, it'll tell you how many wires you can legally put under a wire nut, all right? So having said that, I'm gonna use a red. I don't have my bag because, you know, I never, this is my own personal opinion, I never put more than four 12s under a a red. That's just, you know, you can fit more, but that's what you should only do. Go by the code. All right, so you just put it on there, and you twist, 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 twist. Now, I like to take my clients and just give it just a little bit more of a twist, kind of like this. You have the perfect joint right here with the wire nut safely on. That's all you gotta do, guys. So make sure you take the time to strip it out. Preferably with strippers. You can use clines if you, you know, if that's all you have, but I would prefer strippers. Like what you see here, like and subscribe. God bless, guys. Be safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.